I think um, Pavan and Mesak and yeah, Randy Barakuda and uh, Daniel Savio, they have been explaining it so much that now they got like, what? You don't know Squee? Really? <laughs> In, in some way, Squee is really similar to punk. It's like everybody can make that sort of music and you should have an attitude that you can do it if you want. Most of the guys are real nerds, but I don't know. It's not what kind of a person you are, it's just how you feel the music. You, you really have to feel the Squee in you if you want to make Squee. Squee, squee, you can <laughs> give a million answers of what squee is, but except of the, like, it's low tempo and uh, influenced by, like, this and that, it's, it's more or less some kind of, uh, like, simple and naive way to, to, yeah, to s simplify music without making it, like, minimal. just means to get an interesting sound and really try to get everything you can from it. The squeeze the sound until it's just right and then uh, squeeze some more and uh, make it funky, I guess. I've, I've been to those squeeze parties in Raum 20, for example, that uh, were well, quite uh, a lot of fun for people to see this the first time, how they react if they first see it, because it's quite slow and there's so much space and silence in the music and they come from different backgrounds of music, like hip-hop or techno or whatever, and it's quite fun for them to discover how do I dance to this? Especially in Finland, we, we got a lot of negative reactions as well. When, of course, you start labeling the stuff uh, as squee and they're like, okay, it's a new genre. You cannot make a new genre. It's very fake, but it was not. It, uh, first it happened and then we, then we started calling it squee or the name appeared from somewhere. <laughs> Rockstar and Normune has been releasing some of my favorite 7-inches uh, and favorite uh, compilations for the last couple of years, five years ago. They and him has been like influencing me a lot in the way I think about electronic music. It was a time when a lot of electronic music was getting very, very complicated and uh, very complex and dense and uh, I think that's some of the Frogstar and Harmonia releases is like uh, turning things around and making them like simple and uh, happy and maybe funky again. I had this prophecy a couple of years ago that if something happens, it should have happened 2009 and that was an early prophecy. But since, uh, since it hasn't really happened anything <laughs> special, it, it, but it's still growing, it's still going somewhere and it's still more and more people and more labels are uh, making the music, so I, I don't know. I stopped making prophecies because I, <laughs> I realized that I don't know like, how music travels. Mm -hmm.